Take a look at the starting lineups brought to you by Clarion Health. And Indiana without Jamal Tinsley have moved Ron Mercer into the backcourt alongside of Reggie Miller. Rocky on Friday. This is the lineup for the Wizards. Michael Jordan at the age of 40 in his 15th season. You're, I mean, I understand your story, and you're right. But our test has got to be a part of this team in a big way. I think he's got to do more than score. He's got to defend this Jordan. Makes a three bouncer there if you could use the brothers against two of the top teams in the league are test wheeling inside and in the crowd it's a big brendan haywood the seven footer out of north carolina now how do the pacers handle lou on this side of the floor at the six feet and the uh, speed like jordan, jordan hits again that's the question that you get when that mask off the advice is get used to it harrington slapped away and that's another foul on jordan so jordan has picked up numbers one and two back to back. Sir Kwame Brown, number five, coming in. First pick in the draft last year out of high school. Jordan, number 23, guarded by number 23. Our test all over, and Jordan still hits. Jordan lately, you know, you forget the beginning of the season. You know, he's coming off the knee surgery. Pop a dime to Jeff Foster. Back the other way, Jordan. And Michael Jordan off to a blazing start. Four of five. He has eight points in seven minutes on the floor. Thristiness about him against Indiana this year in Washington. He had a season-high 28 points early. And then the 41 in the double overtime. And right there, Harrington pulled the uh, move yeah. on Jordan. But he stayed with it. And uh, Jordan uh, pointing to Harrington. Three, and you knew somewhere along the line. Oakley was going to get a payback, which we did see. So we'll watch for Oakley against Foster later in this game. Foster is now out. Lonnie Brown, Seco Fieldhouse, where the Pacers will return Friday. It'll be another incredible game. First look at the Bucks with Gary Payton and Desmond Mason. Jordan able to push off and score his sixth field goal. And with 26 games to go for the Pacers, looking to make their stretch run. Isaiah using the bench here in the uh, first half. Jordan getting the bounds for seven field goals, 14 points to lead all scorers. You know, they have to do at some point athletically. And he's played every game this season and turning it on in his final 27 games. In his range, but passes it up. Jordan wrapped up by Artest. Artest so happy this year he's able to uh, change his number to 23 for his all-time idol, Michael Jordan. Wow. Reggie Miller at the other end. On way to nine points to lead the Pacers in scoring, but for Michael Jordan, Michael in Jordan. 19 minutes, 16 points. In the first field goal in the first half, he has three more already here in the first three and a half minutes of the second half. And Indiana right now needing some direction as Jordan gets his Michael ninth field goal. Jordan. 18 points for Michael Jordan. Harrington is called for the personal, and that is his third. Well, they, well, they call Al for the foul. You know, there's no way he fouled in that particular situation. Well, an indication of uh, where Jordan is at the age of 40 and how he's getting his points as the uh, flashbulbs go you. off. Jordan helping out Lou. Now on the switch, Jordan goes to work on Strickland, who's digging in. There's the fake, there's the fadeaway, and there's the hoop. And he's having a little look as though a conversation is being. And Jermaine act, reacted to it very well and still was able to get it off the glass. Only well, his third field goal. Now it is Mercer right up on the Michael Jordan, giving directions to rookie Juan Dixon, and then taking it himself for the fadeaway in vintage fashion. Michael Jordan. Now you could see him get his balance, which I didn't think he was going to be able to do. Michael Jordan at the age of 40. Right now, still the best player on the floor. Wins by two. And another game down to the closing minutes. Artes getting right in the way. Jordan cannot hold on. Well, Ron is always getting his hands around the ball. Jordan tried to grab it, couldn't quite handle it. O'Neal, two men on him, fades, no. And the smallest man on the floor gets the rebound. Fast break for the Wiz with Jordan on his way. And a foul on Reggie Miller with 1-10 
to go, and the Jordan coming up hobbling at the clinching layup, leading by one with 34 seconds to go, and then Sunday going to overtime against Dallas. So the Wiz is certainly getting the message from Jordan, feeling the urgency, and this should be it. So the last appearance at Conseco Fieldhouse, the regular season, adversaries for so many years great respect for one another michael jordan goes hobbling out with 25 points 16 in the first half reggie